Hello, you're yeah, welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. We are given 4 raised to power x equals to 30. And here we can take the log on both sides. And we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 30 from here. Then when we apply the power law of logarithm from when we have log m raised to power p, which is equals to p log m, then what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 30 from here. The next step we can divide both side by log 4. So we have divided this side by log 4. Then also divide this side by log 4, which implies log 4 cancel each other here. And here we have x left, which is equal to log 30 over log 4. Then we can reduce this further, since here we can write 30 x 6 times 5. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log into bracket 6 times 5 over log 4. The next step here, we apply the law of logarithm from log a times b, which can be written as log a plus log b. Then here, what we have becomes x equals to log 6 plus log 5 then over log 4. Then here we can separate this into two fractions from where we have a plus b over c which can be written as a over c plus b over c. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 6 over log 4 then plus log 5 over log 4. Then also here we can reduce this and we write 6 as 2 times 3 from here. Then what we have becomes x equals to log into bracket 2 times 3 then over log 4 plus here we still have log 5 over log 4. That is, here as well we apply the law of logarithm then and what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 plus log 3 over log 4 then plus log 5 over log 4. Then also here we can separate this fraction into two fractions and we have x equals to log 2 over log 4 then plus log 3 over log 4 then plus log 5 over log 4 which implies here we can also reduce this and write 4 as 2 times 2, which is also 2 squared. That is, what we have there becomes x equals to log 2 over log 2 squared, then plus log 3 over log 2 squared, then plus log 5 over log 2 squared. That is here we apply the power law and 2 here comes to the back here and here we have x now equals to log 2 over 2 log 2 then plus here we have log 3 over 2 log 2 then plus log 5 over 
two log two here. Then here we have log two cancel each other. We are left with one over two. So we have x equals to half here. Then plus here we have half multiplied by log three over log two. Then plus also here we have half multiplied by log five over log two. That is here when we apply change of base here from log a over log b which can be written as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to half plus half log 3 to base 2 then plus half log 5 to base 2 then since here we have half common here we can factor it out then what we have become x equals to half into bracket one plus here we have log three base two then plus log five base two here so here we have the value of x here which can also be written as x equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 then over 2 from here so here we have the value of x in this problem then let's check if this will satisfy the given problem and what we have here we substitute the value of x given that we got which is x equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 from here then what we have becomes 4 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 is equals to 30 on this side that is here we can also write 4 as 2 squared then multiply by 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 then over 2 here is equals to 30 from here then here this power multiplies and 2 cancel each other then this remains 2 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 and is this equals to 30 on this side that is from what we have here applying the law of indices from a raised to power m plus n which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n here this same thing as 2 raised to power 1 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 then times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 and is this equals to 30 from here then 2 raised to power 1 is 2 then times here this follows from a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b then what we have here is 3 then times all we have here is 5 is this equals to 30 here then from here we have 2 times 3 that's 6 then times 5 that's 30 which is equals to 30 left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 satisfying this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next lesson bye for now